My name is Felix Krückels, I'm Director of Business Development in LAVO and I want to explain to you now our V-Line series starting with the Link 4 we have here. The Link 4 is a video IP streaming box for all kinds of applications, contribution, distribution for stage box systems, but also for wide area network, remote production applications. The Link 4 is able to uh, get in for SDI inputs 3G, send out for SDI uh, um, signals 3G, and to stream these uh, video signals with different formats. The first format is simply RAW on 10 gigabit uh, output, um, on two 10 gigabit outputs. The second one is Direct Pro, third one is J2K, and for monitoring applications we also have Motion JPEG streaming and H.264 streaming for mobile devices or for internet streaming. All the streams are coming out of a network switch, an internal network switch within uh, the Link 4. There's four 1 gigabit uh, ports on this switch hooked up to the switch and two 10 gigabit uh, ports hooked up to the switch. And on any of these uh, ports we can stream out or we can receive streams from another Link 4. Setting up streams is as easy as analog patching. You simply grab the source, a J2K source, with your mouse, you go to the destination, you release it and the stream is already running and the animation shows you we are now streaming. We have set up our first virtual cable. We can take the same source and do a second virtual patching and now the stream is also going to the second stage box, to the second Link 4. The GUI of uh, the Link 4 is the same we are using already for uh, very successful for the Pro 8. You simply use touch screen based operation to hook up, for example, a color correction. You see there's thumbnails showing you the video content of the output you are right now uh, adjusting. The signal which is coming into the Link 4 can be already ready processed in the stage box, which means you don't have to have another color correction in the truck. You can frame synchronize already the, the video content in, uh, in the stage box. You can add some video delay, some audio delay. You can change the level of the audio. You even can do some down mixing within the box, which means it can create ready-made feeds um, at the source, at the origin of, of your signal. The Link 4 also has an audio-video lip-sync measurement tool, which is a normal valid, but our own uh, valid pattern we developed. Of course, in a network environment, you want to check whether your video and your audio is, uh, is synchronous going through the network. You simply enable the test pattern, which you see right now here on this GUI, on any of the outputs, whether it's the SDI outputs or the streaming outputs. And the receiver Link 4 would then be able to measure all 16 incoming audios. And this is very accurate um, if, they are, if the audio is behind or if the audio is advanced. We show now an application, a real application, which is out of the field with a real stage box on our booth, where the Link 4 is the heart of the stage box, doing all the streaming, doing all the audio transport, doing all the infrastructure from a stage box back to an Obi van, back to a truck or to a facility. Which means you have your CCU, your camera control unit in the stage box, and this one hooked up to the Link 4 with all the video feeds you need for this camera control. You have a Dallas stage box via Ravenna IP layer 3 connected to the Link 4, also going through the same network for all the audio, which is tally with the GPIOs, which is analog inputs and outputs for the four wires, for the microphones, for the program return, for this camera. Plus an intercom panel, which is connected to the same network in the Link 4 to provide some intercom on, um, on the stage, whatever, whether it's football for the presenter, whether it's um, the commentary uh, for an boxing event or whatsoever. Here we see a typical application how the whole setup could be done. A four camera hub on the left hand side of cameras connected to the Link 4s with audio, uh, Ravenna and with video to the Link 4 directly. A two camera hub, two cameras on the left hand side plus a little audio satellite which could be in the stage box but it could be also uh, in a distance of up to 1000 meters uh, connected via coax or via cut 5 to the stage box. Everything connected to the switch 
and through the switch it's connected to the equipment room which could be the truck which could be into the truck which could also be a talk a technical operations center or the equipment room for whatever and on the right hand side the normal traditional infrastructure for production a mixing console a server a, a vision mixer plus the camera control units, the RCPs, remote controlling through the network, the um, CCUs in the stage box. The beauty of Link4 is it also provides H.264 streams for IPTV. It provides this for people following the show on mobile devices, on tablets whatsoever. Because Motion JPEG is a very low latency codec as well, it's very suitable to use this on a commentary position where low latency is, requ is a requirement for, uh, for the commentator. On the right hand side would be the computer to control all the network, to do the virtual cabling, to do the setup for the whole infrastructure. Because it's an IP based setup, a wide error network connection could be done as well, which means deriving out of the Link 4, the production quality signals for the local production, for the production in the venue, as well as uh, sending these uh, feeds out via a wide area network with J2K, would enable that two feeds, that two, three feeds could be produced at the same time, one in a truck and another one in the control room back in your facility.